Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, here you go. Okay. You know it's my mic, right? I'm here. Teddy Mike dog. Hey! <laughs> you can get that out the net, Mimi. Nice. Good. Double! Rip. Hunt paint. Downhill drive. Downhill, Zaya. Attack. Attack. She hitting the head for you to rip that thing. You understand? Attack. Good. You can rise up. Rise up. Mimi, good. So when Jakia ripped and you're on that wing, you got to be moving to that corner. Does that make sense? Otherwise, she's throwing against defense. Hey, if she moves, then your gap moves. Yeah, okay. Put your hands up. Hands. Hands. Jakia, Jakia. Not done. Not done. You got one-on-one -on -one right there. And you. I know, but then you just sit on her. Just, just reset, and now I'm working like a post player. Hey, for you though, Sanaya, you gotta be more physical earlier out here. That way she ain't just back you down, right? The ball goes that way, you come over like you're supposed to. If she starts going up though, I gotta go up. So that way you're not long closeout. That's how she's getting by you. Let's go, White. Here we go. Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Together. Here we go. Yo. Put the work in. You got to, got to, got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yes, I work out. Make that great show, no doubt. Me, yeah. I go in, up in the levels, I never quit till I win. I'm a rebel, be damned if I give in. Keep pushing that limit, you see the sweat pouring. You got to give it all you got, don't let nobody stop ya. Putting in them extra hours, you ain't gotta stop ya. Don't let nobody stop ya. Putting in them extra hours, you won't flop now. You won't flop, you won't flop, you won't flop now. Come on, come on. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. Mr. Wolf, you're all set. Complete perimeter protection installed, activated, and monitored 24 7. Rivalries happen, but no matter who you root for, we can all identify with the best in smart home security. CPI Security. Identify yourself. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs. In stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Try it first. Yeah. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Carolina Ford Dealers, proud sponsor of NC State Athletics. 
can't wait to get started. Uh, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to do it with character, integrity, but we're also uh, going to be very successful. We're not going to be intimidated or back down from anyone. Uh, we're, like I said, we're going to claim our state back. Coach Yao, uh, obviously, I, I wouldn't be here today without uh, her influence and her support through all the years. She is who made Wolfpack women's basketball special. Yeah, we don't talk a whole lot about the past. Uh, you know, every now and then you'll bring up, you know, the history of, you know, this program and the success we've had and the confidence we ought to draw from that. But it's a new team, like you said, and, uh, you know, I, I'm focused on what's ahead. And, you know, that's why they, uh, that's why you're, uh, you know, your front windshield is really, really big and your rear view mirror is really, really small. Uh, I don't worry a whole lot about what's behind. We got to look ahead and, uh, you know, drive that thing uh, down this road and this new journey that we're on. This is a quality win for NC State. We talked about four new starters, putting the pieces together, building chemistry, playing through adversity. Uh, you know, we've played a really uh, challenging schedule, uh, especially, you know, we just finished a stretch of five straight games on the road against Power Five opponents. So. Uh, you know, you're trying to mesh uh, returning players with new roles and then uh, your transfers that you've added. And so, uh, you know, overall I'm proud of what they've been able to do. And uh, I think our non-conference schedule has hopefully prepared us well for uh, a very challenging ACC schedule ahead. I can't wait to be home. Iowa top, I think they were ranked top five at the time and playing on their home court and uh, yeah it was a big win for us. Uh, obviously we had we had, had a tough loss up at UConn and uh, you know, hopefully we learned a lot from it but I was real proud of the way we just you know players just kept answering you know every time uh, Iowa would make a run it looked like they might be able to uh, take the lead or whatever we had somebody step up hit a big shot make a big play and uh, so it was a great team win, and uh, especially with you know adverse situations. So uh, I think that's another one that's going to definitely pay off down the road. Yeah, you know, again, Mimi's got a lot of experience, and we jayed out with a with a turned ankle the day before in practice. Uh, Mimi just stepped up and and answered the call, and uh, got a lot of confidence her in her. She's very talented, and like I said, has a lot of experience. It's just obviously with Jada Boyd as well, it was tough and she wasn't getting uh, as much uh, probably playing time as she would like, but uh, when the when the time came, she was ready to answer and you know, I thought stepped up in a big way. She just, she does a great job on the offensive boards, hit a big three and uh, you know, has the size and quickness to, to guard people both inside and out. So that's what Mimi brings. And uh, again, a uh, big part of that win, definitely. 19. 19. 19 to me. Well, who's counting? With Sanaya Rivers, uh, you know, we played her at point some, so her and Diamond out there together gives you a couple of ball handlers. I think Sanaya has great vision on the court and obviously stepped up in a big way in the Iowa game. River Baldwin, uh, great presence inside, offensive and defensive end. And again, a lot of experience. Uh, you know, I just think she's provided us some great depth with her and Camille Hobby kind of tag teaming it. And uh, that's been great for us. And then as we already mentioned, Mimi. So really all three of those kids have, have come in here and uh, helped us kind of uh, pick up from losing the four players that started a year ago to graduation to have them come in and, and not miss a beat's been big. JBT again. She'll put it on the deck. Pull up, 10-footer, goes in. That's a 1,000 for Jakia Brown-Turner. Jakia and Jada and then Camille Hobby also. So they're our kids that have been here four years, are true seniors, uh, even though they may have the COVID year as well ahead. But yeah, having those three that uh, kind of are familiar with our culture, our system, what we're about, uh, has been, you know, like having uh, ex, you know three extra coaches on the court out there uh, to kind of bridge the gap between the past and the future and, and help us, like I said, kind of almost make it seamless as we try to uh, move on from graduating those great players that uh, we had had for 
four and five years. So uh, uh, again, uh, those three have been instrumental though in, in, trying to be, in trying to be good leaders. I just knew I had to be here for my team in any way, whether that was scoring, passing, rebounding. Um, I just tried to do everything to have my team lead them. Um, and I think they just followed. They um, played well. They listened to everything. We listened to Coach Moore. We just took instructions, and we were just super locked in for 40 minutes. Um, we knew that we, we had to pull this off. Um, we didn't like the way we lost to UConn, so we tried to come back and come back stronger, and that we did. I think the biggest thing with Diamond is just making the transition to trying to be a true point guard. And Diamond's a, you know, she's a scorer. I mean, she has a shoot first mentality. And so you have to constantly be working with her to make her realize we got to get everybody else involved also. Even And Diamond is so good and and is so successful scoring the ball that, you know, it's hard for her sometimes to realize, well, hey, I may need to let the ball come back to me instead of shooting it first right down, you know, right off transition. So done a great job. I mean, I know she's, you know, well over a two to one assist to turnover ratio. and and has done a great job of getting everybody else involved. And then knowing when, hey, you know, I'm hot, I got a good matchup here, take advantage of it and score the ball and, uh, you know, be that person as well. So she's kind of wearing two hats, being the quarterback, but then also being the one that's scoring the ball. And uh, like I said, I think she's getting much better at, at finding a good balance there. You know, Ashley was somebody that uh, came to NC State, even though she had some D1 offers, she came as a walk-on and uh, just, uh, you know, was busted her tail, very high basketball IQ, and I guess by her junior year, she was starting her senior year, she shot 44% from three uh, in the ACC. And, uh, you know, she's been at Indiana, a program that I have a lot of respect for. I think they uh, do a great job with uh, the way they run their program and uh, so for, to bring her back home and, and to also bring that experience that she gained from Indiana and then also I think it's great from a recruiting standpoint to have somebody on your staff that can kind of tell your story, played for you for four years and is able to you know give some insight to these recruits about what it's like playing at NC State and, and, and for me quite honest so uh, I think that's good having that. This segment of One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. I don't know that it's quite set in fully yet just because it's been a whirlwind. You know, anytime, you know, you change jobs, it usually is. But I couldn't be more excited. Um, anybody that knows me knows how much NC State means. Um, and to have an opportunity to come back and coach here and coach for the coach that got to coach me while I was here is, is really awesome. He's done a lot for me. So not just as a player, but now that I've become a coach, he's helped me out a lot. And I'm just excited to be here and work my butt off and hopefully attempt to return the favor. I mean, I think Reynolds is the best gym in the country. I only got to play one season in, after the renovation of Reynolds, but I think it's the best gym in the country. I think the noise, the fans, I think that NC State women's basketball fans are loyal. They've, they come, they show up, they're loud, they're into it. Um, and I think that's true for NC State athletics as a whole, just growing up in Raleigh and being an NC State fan my whole life, um, you know, went to a lot of athletic events, and so I think that we have an unbelievable fan base, and I think that that's reflected through the women's basketball team, and so I'm not surprised at all that the nine games sold out last year. You know, I would feel like we have a good chance to do that again this year, hopefully more, um, and I do think it matters. I think it creates for an awesome experience for the student athletes here to get to play in front of that kind of environment, and I do think it definitely creates a competitive advantage as well. I'm somebody that loves the player development piece. I love to be on the floor. I love to do skill development. You know, I'm somebody that's always going to be available if they want to get in the gym 6 a.m. I'm eager to do that. I think that, you know, the, the, the guards that we have here especially that I'll be able to work with and, you know, hopefully help continue to grow their skill sets and, you know, get them to places where they want to be. Anybody that knows me knows that this place is special to me. The women's basketball program is, Coach Moore is, this university is, Raleigh is, the whole ordeal. And so I'm going to give it everything I have each and every day. I'm going to be the best that I can possibly be. Um, and I think that's the only way to do it because that's what, you know, we demand of the players. I spent four years at Indiana, so two as an assistant coach and then prior to that, two as a grad assistant. 
of those, you know, the last two we played NC State, so one being in the NCAA tournament and then one being at Assembly Hall last year. And playing NC State from an opposing bench it was an interesting kind of feel, for one, because like I said, I've since I've been gone, I have actively watched and cheered and rooted for NC State, you know, from my couch. And so from that respect, it, it is a little hard because you're, you're going into a game that you're having to prepare to beat a team that I'm sitting there rooting for every other night. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a competitor. Um, I was a Hoosier and, you know, Coach Moore is the same way. Even though he coached me and he's got love for me and he's helped me a lot, he wants to win. And so I think that because of that, that helps create some separation. And they were both great, you know, competitive games. And so, unfortunately, Coach Moore and NC State got the best of us in Assembly Hall this past year. Um, but I think it was great for the game. I mean, those were two really, really good teams, well-coached teams, competitive, passionate, you know, players on both ends. And so I was, you know, it was a lot of fun to be a part of it. I think I'm somebody that's pretty high energy. Um, you know, I like to, to bring energy each and every day. I'm still pretty young, so I can get out there and play with them. I can get out there and talk a little bit of crap to them. Um, so I think for one, it's that, and that at times can be extremely positive energy, can be pumping them up, but I think that that also is reflected in competitive energy and in ways that I can challenge them and get on them. I'm definitely not somebody that's quiet uh, as far as on the court coaching. I wanna you know, constantly be giving them something, whether it's good juice, just giving them things. As a player, the second that your coach stops coaching you, that's when you should be worried, you know, and that's something that Coach Moore has always said to us. And so for me, I, you know, I never want a player to feel like that. I never want them to feel like they're, you know, not being coached up. And so I'm definitely intentional about just staying locked in and being engaged throughout the course of the practice and things like that. But yeah, I'd say style-wise, I'm high energy. I think that any great team wants to play against great competition and so I think Coach Moore is no different in that respect as far as he builds the non-conference intentionally. Each year, you know, we're going to play some heavy hitters in the non-conference, not just to get us ready for ACC play, but at the end of the day, you want to position yourself to have a great seed in the NCAA tournament to, you know, to compete to be one of the best teams in the country. And so in order to do that, you've got to play the other best teams in the country. And so I think that's huge, not just to prepare for the ACC, but for the tournament and all that comes in March. All that's really left is to go get that Final Four. And so I think that that's the goal. Um, obviously, you want to include the ACC Championship again, both regular and tournament. But I think that Final Four is what you know we're all hoping and working for each and every day. Wonder with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by North Carolina's electric cooperatives, powering a brighter future for the people and communities we serve. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. From protecting your teeth and gums, to restoring your smile, to sponsoring your local team, Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs. In stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. 
Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. How are you? Oh, I love those. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, I'm Mona. Madison. And how tall are you? I'm 6'1". 6'1". Six one. Six one. Okay. Tall girl. <laughs> We're shrimps. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting shorter as we talk to this guy. <laughs> what is your favorite home-cooked meal? Spaghetti. Especially by my grandma. And my mom. That's pretty much it, though. Okay. Yeah. Your mother's and your grandmother's spaghetti. Mm -hmm. What makes it good? Um, well, my grandmother's from North Carolina, so I would go back to Yakinville, and uh -huh. she'll have like homemade sauce for mm -hmm. the spaghetti, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it good. So mm -hmm. I really like it. Tell us, what's your usual bedtime? It's supposed to be like maybe like ten or eleven ish. But I usually go to sleep, depending on the day, probably like 11.30, like that's when I go to sleep because usually we'll have workouts at like nine. So I have a bunch of rest. How do you find time to get the studying in? Um, so usually after workouts or weights, I'll have like two hours to kind of like get myself together and start, you know, get ready for class. Then I'll have tutoring from like four to five, six to seven. That's the schedule that I have today. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what are some classes you're taking this semester? Um, I'm taking Spanish, I'm taking psychology, and I'm taking two communication classes uh -huh. for sports broadcast and for um, critical analysis for uh, communication media. So we might see you on the sidelines oh, yeah. someday yep. or up in the booth. Yep. How important are the fans to your success on the court? They're a huge part of why, you know, we're winning as much. I feel like for me, it motivates me like, like defense, like when I get a stop or I get a steal or I get a rebound or an offensive rebound, like it keeps, it gets me going like really quickly, so. So do you hear them clapping? Oh yeah, they always motivate me to keep doing better for them and for the team. Mm -hmm. Who is your hero? Mm. That's a hard one. Probably my grandfather. He's passed away now, but um, he was definitely my hero for sure. He was a preacher, and he wanted to. He always told me to, you know, watch my character. You have great character, and you know, keep up the good work. And he's just really motivational for me. What's your favorite karaoke song? Oh, karaoke. Oh, love by Keisha Cole. That's what I I can sing that like the All whole right, way good. through. All right. Now you sing it. Oh, I gotta sing it. <laughs> I gotta sing it. Just a few bars, not uh, the whole thing. I'm not a good singer. It's okay. <laughs> you it's sure? Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, la, never knew what I was missing. But as soon as we start kissing, I find. Let's see. Yeah. That was great. That was great. That was, great. <laughs> that was excellent. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Very much for talking to us. No problem. We Thank you. It. When you see strangers yelling at you from the stands, you'll know it's us. Okay. Because we've had such a good time today. Aww. We want to come and see you play. Okay. You. Yeah. Good luck with the season. Thank you. Yes. We'll be cheering you on. And Thank with your you. courses as well as the season. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah. From protecting your teeth and gums, to restoring your smile, to sponsoring your local team. 
Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. Mr. Wolf, you're all set. Complete perimeter protection installed, activated, and monitored 24 7. Rivalries happen, but no matter who you root for, we can all identify with the best in smart home security. CPI Security. Identify yourself. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs, in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. I need to try it first. Yeah. This segment of One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Town Properties. Tonight, a new season begins in Reynolds Coliseum. It's the ACC opener as State faces the Clemson Tigers. This is the first game of the ACC season, and our both teams should be hyped up. A steps into a three and yes. hits. Gets in the passing lane there, disrupting the pass. Three perfect man is able to get an easy deuce on the left side. So we just turn up the energy in the defense, and as you can see, our team did a really good job. Here and a steal by Jakia Brown Turner. Stepped in front of the pass, intended for Elmore. Here she goes, Shiro stepping and scoring. The smooth operator on the break. <laughs> Hayes into the corner. Isaiah James for three. Bang! Isaiah James is giving it all she's got. State breaks the Clemson pressure inside. Madison Hayes with a great catch to save a turnover. It gets to Rivers. Rivers to the basket. Bucket. The law of the law strikes again. Get it out of here. NC State for the seventh consecutive season wins its ACC opener. She had 20 points. I had 16, but you know what? She had 20 points. And you want to know something? Everybody else had a great game.